talk to each other in their heads made them feel safe, your characters. Is there what... It, there's also, though, an inherent danger in, I'm assuming, that their peer group finds out they can do this, or that there's that there's more going on to this story than just the two of them being able to communicate. Yeah, the, the, they don't actually, in this book, they don't necessarily find that out. Um, I think the bigger part of the book is that Lena, who is the, um, the female mm -hmm. main character, although it's written from Ethan's point of view, she doesn't fit in, and she's... A, she's supernatural and she not everyone knows it but she's still a freak she doesn't fit in she doesn't look the right way she doesn't talk the right way you know she's not from the small town everyone else is and Ethan is one of the only people who connects with her and so she's able to tell him things that she can't tell anyone else because she doesn't have a best friend you know she's in it alone and with her it's almost that feeling of you want to be able to be yourself, but you also want to be accepted. You don't want to have to change who you are and conform, but you still don't want to be, you know, sitting alone in the lunchroom and no one will get near you like you're a pariah. So it's that, it's that struggle of how can I be myself and still have friends and still be part of the larger group? And I would think that the issue of be, having a paranormal power or... Uh or being involved in a paranormal situation speaks very largely to that, di that that dichotomy of how do I, who am I, and then how do I how do I pass or cover or how much do I reveal of myself and where do I where do my feelings about this start and and your start how am I separate from from them as well? Do, are do, are either of you playing with any of you playing with kind of those ideas? as you consciously write this, or do this yeah. just happen to you? No one knows she's supernatural, and she finally reveals that to Ethan, and it's that, that moment of, I have a huge secret that could embarrass me, that could, you know, t ruin my life in the, you know, the realm of the teenage world, and can I trust my secret to this person? Can I tell this person, are they going to understand? Are they going to tell everybody else at school? And that's a huge moment, and I think... Teenagers can relate to that outside of the paranormal yes. because all of us are trying to figure out who can we trust, right. what can we reveal. Right. How did you divide up the writing process? Did you guys pass it back and forth? Or? We did, but we both write everything. We don't alternate um, characters or chapters. What, like, a quick answer is basically what we do is we do a big outline together and then we split up the work and then we switch it back and forth, but we write over each other's work. So we delete or add to actually what the other person has given us many times. So when you do that, eventually it's, you know, it's like one voice. It's all both of ours.